Hello, this is Tux from PlanShift team. And this is Luca, and we will show you today uh, some uh, visual effects, particles, mainly applied to uh, spells to be used with the PlanShift engine. Let me introduce what is a spell. A spell finally is a, an event sent by the server, an exchange with your client and the server. The spell has a name, and uh, you, you have a file. He store all information about what do when uh, event come or uh, when you play uh, a magic effect. Yes, that's correct. So all our spells are divided at least in two parts. One is server side, which is the event generated, and then the client side, where you have the visual effect. The visual effect is actually stored in multiple files. Some XML files, which contain the basic parameters and data for playing the effect, and then the actual images or sounds. Let me show you how the directory is. It's uh, my PlanShift directory. You have here art and you have here data. Here I have some shortcut. Uh, I have shortcut for have PlanShift data effect spell. Inside this directory you have all effect file. An effect file is for say what do with picture or uh, uh, where attach it. Um, I show you later. You have another directory in PlanShift Art Effects Spells. It's something I have do. I have created one uh, subdirectory by spell for have something clean and for permit uh, on the future. If you want to change a, a graphic of a spell, you just have to replace uh, some image uh, for change the graphic. We start by a uh, loop one spell called uh, demonic uh, form. Let me show you in game. Uh, hop. What you see, we have a uh, red particle uh, and black particle. For that, I have to store. Uh, my particle. Basically, it's done on uh, plane shift art effect spell dark and the subdirectory uh, for the spell. I have three smoke image and one spark image uh, for the red particle. We have uh, also part file, which is actually an XML file which contains all the parameters. So let's check together a bit the structure of this file. So at the top of the file, you have the shader definition. And for now, we will not go in details. Then you have this texture part. So the texture is the part in which you are defining the uh, file, the actual image file, like DDS. Okay, DDS is the compressed format that we use for textures. And here you have Mach 1, Mach 2, Mach 3, which are the different, say, phases of our effect. It's important that you also have a material part because in crystal space and in plan shift every material has to be declared and it can use uh, an existing image. Okay, so the material is containing additional shaders that for now we are not going to discuss but definitely are needed for the rendering and they are uh, used for uh, creating transparency. Then you have uh, the mesh fact itself. So the mesh fact stands for mesh factory. So it's the basic object that is going to get created in the 3D space. And we are using this plugin called uh, Crystal Space Factory Particle, which is the one that actually is uh, uh, calling the 3D engine for generating the particle. And what I do, I, I say to the engine that it has to use my demonic form Smoke 1, which is the material that I have declared above. You can see here on Plane Shift Data Effect Spell, demonic form, you have a, a effect file. Uh, the effect file call the part file. I show you. Here is my effect file. Uh, call the part file. 
for call finalize the factory you have uh, initialized on the part file. And all new texture is loaded on the part file, not on the effect file. The effect file has have another uh, mission. It mission is initialize a PS effect. PS effect is an internal library of the game. And here I can reply to event sent by something in the server and have a name already set, set uh, on the, the server. You, re, you must reply to its name and all you do after on the file uh, be do only because the, the, the server have called for spell name. It's an event finally. You have an object and not mesh file. Uh, mesh fact, sorry. An object call the factory. Initialize here a mesh file call a uh, mesh fact call demon smoke one and here you call it and you say I want to attach it uh, to target uh, particular uh, go to a direction target direction uh, and you have a lot of uh, argument to do what you want. It's important to use mix mode uh, multi because uh, for dark uh, it's that more well, a few de uh, small details. Let me show you in GIMP. In GIMP, uh, here it's my uh, daemon uh, from. I have uh, export uh, my three layer. Finally, it's an inverse of uh, dark image. Mm. I can show you uh, exactly. Hop, hop. Uh, it's image uh, reverse. I, I create it with a black background and for dark I reverse it, inverse the color and use multi mode. Mute on the mix mode. It's important. And uh, what you see, I have all my objects, my small 2, my small 3, and my spark. Spark uh, be generated uh, with a black background, and here I use mix mode add. It's very important, hein? if you don't do it, uh, you kill the FPS, uh, FPS uh, uh, to the player. It's, uh, it's terrible uh, for the player in game. And uh, what you see... Uh, I have a time schedule. I can uh, I can uh, make a sequence by time. Time zero. I uh, set the the position. And uh, here, what you can see, uh, I make a rotation. Pew! It's the rotation you you you, you have seen uh, at start. I can show you another. Uh, Spell by example uh, Crystal Aura. Hop, my particle turn just uh, because uh, I have set here about the rotation. Thanks, Tux. So, what we can see now is a bit of the conversion process that we use to convert our textures to uh, the final game format. At the beginning, our files are PNGs, but we want to convert them to the final format. And if you go here and navigate into our directory structure under spells, and then you select uh, dark and demonic form, you see that the files are DDS. Okay, so DDS is a specific compressed format used for uh, in-game textures, and is, let's say, the best format to use with plan shift in the final product. We launch here the NV compress using a number of uh, parameters like alpha and BC3 uh, to determine which is the compression and use uh, the same image that took circuited in GIMP. We say the PNG is the source and the DDS is our uh, target. So we launch the command, I mean it runs for a bit and then it generates the DDS for us. 
So usually what we do, we uh, generate those uh, uh, DDS automatically, okay, from, uh, from a batch. So we create them uh, automatically uh, in batches. Okay, so uh, the image that we will use here are pretty big. So you can see that are uh, uh, 512 by 512. So they are pretty big in, uh, in size. I think you will have to decide, let's say, how big you want the image to be. I mean, depending on the quality. So we are testing spells, which are like three meters by three meters uh, in terms of size. And I think that uh, the uh, 512 is, um, is, a, is a pretty good uh, size. So, I think that's all for this tutorial and uh, we hope to uh, do more tutorials uh, pretty soon. See you.